Hello, this is Ben with His and Hers Alaska. Today, Rebecca and I went clam digging and we showed you how to clean the clams in our previous video. Now we're going to show you how we like to cook them. So I started off with the fresh clams and I doctored them up with a little salt, pepper, parsley, and a little garlic powder. And then I put them in a beaten egg mixture. And now we are going to put them right into here and this is saltines flour and a little garlic powder and there's plenty of salt in the saltines and parsley so I'm just going to dump them all in here simple enough everything's in this bag make sure it's sealed up well before you go doing your shake and bake and Granted, on the video, this will seem like it uh, came together really easy, but it does take some time preparing all the ingredients. We like to crumble our saltines with anything that's round and hard. I actually used the uh, mason jar that our coconut oil's in. Uh, we like to use coconut oil. Avocado oil would be another good one. Um, we just don't like to use canola or regular old vegetable oil. If you could find an organic non-GMO brand, that would be good. And that is probably a little contradictory because we're using saltines, which are probably chemically laden in themselves. But we're out camping and this is what we have. Well, normally we buy organic, healthy saltines, but yes. today they're from the local Nanilchik general store because we forgot. Okay, so we are going to check our oil and put a little bit of water on your finger, splash it. That's pretty much the technique. Now we just simply put the clams in the oil. Frying is not a rocket science. Try not to put too many in at one time because you will drop the temperature of your oil and uh, oil needs to be nice and hot to cook everything properly. Now these do not need a long time to cook. All we're essentially doing is uh, looking to get the uh, dredging, the flour and saltine mixture nice and brown. And the clams will take care of themselves from there. Okay, those are looking really good. And ideally you only want to flip your fried food once and I'm also that way of when I barbecue flip it once are you exhausted after today it's been a long day okay since this is a real meal I uh, realized that I made a mistake and I'm not gonna go you know trying to fix it but I noticed that the uh, dredging is not sticking on the clams as well, and I forgot a step. So what you need to do is dredge your clams in flour before you put them in the egg, and then go from the egg to your saltine and flour and seasoning mixture. And I'm ready to flip now, and trust me, this will not affect the flavor. These are still going to be an amazing meal, but it won't coat quite as well. Look at that. Alright, so another uh, couple minutes just until the uh, breading gets uh, nice and brown. Now's the time to pull the clams out. And I always like to set them on a paper towel. Let some of that excess oil drain off. Now these will have a, a nice little coconut flavor because I'm using coconut oil today. But use whatever oil you like. Voila, as Ivan would say. Mm. There we go. Just to give you a sense of the length of the day, Ben and I got up this morning at 6.30. And we are now eating clams at 20 till 9 in the evening. So this is a long day. 
but totally worth the, the wait.